I am desensitized. Like a falling statue of a pyramid collapsing in and on itself, an impossibility that implodes persuasively and almost grudgingly at first. Slowly, creepingly, I am entering this placid domain, and I cry. I am a tear with sticky, grimy flesh. Mother, have they dropped the bombs? Help. I am nothing, and I know nothing. I am slowly aware of a cautiousness that exudes a force of life that I must have and entertain. And I cry. I am still a wet and dry and unstilled version of her former thought. I am a shadow among trees and breezes and tendencies. I am a singular friendship. I am not innocent. Help. I am not yet anything, and I know this. I will never cease. I am need, and I require a place, a nourishment for what could be possible. I am a vibration, and I am sudden. I fear this forest, and I realize that I am emotion, though I cannot define it, so I cry. But my movement stills and heals me for a moment. I'm barely here and I know little. I'm careful with this thought that invades my singular vision. I'm threatened and I retreat. Help. I am again nothing, but I've retained a glimpse of memory. I move. I cry, but I move. I have and hold emotion, though I once was its master, and I cry again. This forest is only my parents' yard and I flee. There is restlessness and happiness feeling each other in a circle of bewildering discovery. I am everything and everywhere, and am inseparable within myself. I am selfishness, and now I know solutions. I am caught in my web of tranquility, and I realize regret. I cry, and am less than nothing, but I continue to move. I am all there is, and I solidify this through isolation. There is a comfort in aloneness that takes me captive. Help me. I am growth and change. I cannot feel anything but feeling, and am one with my emotion again. I trudge through this shifting forest, broken paths forging themselves ahead of me. This is a cautious dance, protected by a lack of knowledge, and I shout loudly. I do not need anyone. Do not try and help me. I have broken through this senselessness, and will not worry, though I understand that in this change are baffling ununderstandables. This is necessary. I know desire, and this charges to the forefront of my battlefields. This weary yet young line of war inside me, aging me again. I know deceit and hate. I cry and hold on to this unfleeting, racing, ego-driven carnival. I am all one among all. I tremble and know that I am a tremble, and within this tremolo I move on despite myself. There is forced anxiety now as I run past bent trails and lunge deeper inside this, my beautiful unraveling sanctuary. I will sit. I will sit. I am awake in my dreams and find no solace where I thought to rest. I callous over and shed skin, scratching and crying in fallen leaves and memories. I am anew and I know nothing. Help. Numb. How am I supposed to explain this when I can't even understand what I'm thinking? Why should I even attempt to spell these non-words out when they mean nothing without an explanation? Why is it so difficult to understand my own mind wanderings, though they've always been with me? I wonder how much time I've spent asking these things compared to actually piecing together the fragments of reason that cause them. I don't have answers. But I have decided to bitch slap my virtuosity into gear and go exploring anyway. If we're just going from one fearful mistake to the next, then all that matters is all the murky water in between. You see, I am desensitized, and you know what? 
It doesn't matter right now. That's just the starting point. It doesn't matter how and why I got this way, and it doesn't matter that there is no turning back. These are important facts, but they don't matter. Facts that don't make impacts. Motion, growth, and action give way to importance. We're all on this spiral together, I believe. It bends and flows and decays and expands and shifts and turns, but it is in this web of desensitization that we stand and lie and fuck and love and kill and hate and eat and fear and hope and cry and live and love again. There are no peaks or turns or forks or corners that I perceive. I am in this ride of motion and I refuse to drift asleep and slide awake beneath where I began. I'm weary of growing back and forth, going up and down, unrealizing this change in elevation. There is a swaying in this numbing spiral that has resulted in most of my upward progression, with no help from I. And that always seems to be okay these days. Let the tides of time, the waves of the age, dictate the extent of the journey. But I'm not okay with that. I'll burn my eyes to trek further up and beyond. At least now, in this moment. No. I'm not okay with that. I'll hike with the weary and wise towards something more than this daily route. That's the great deception. The route seems just fine compared to the steep slope up, desensitized to the easy slide back, which feels like solid ground. No, I'm not okay with that. If I wanted to be numb, I'd stick that needle back in and slip, slip, slip and slide, sound and round and down again. Two, three, four packs a day. We'll be all right. Can't feel a thing anyway. Token, coking, snorting, smoking, drinking, fucking, popping, shooting. We're all sliding. It's all right, though. We're not alone. This is our societal drug man. Discontent. Dropping by to keep the party rolling, rolling, rolling on. I'm desensitized, but I won't sit idly by and miss the upward stride, the real ride. I'm on action side, motion side. Fuck the fear. I'm willing to be a little asymmetrical. Because I believe everything is at stake on this springy coin toss. It's no use some paths we choose and some we choose to embrace. Most we just follow despite ourselves. Checking voicemail, hitting replies, spells out. Following always and never knowing equals. No telling anybody embrace it. It's a whirlpool trying to drown itself Finds victory in this failure now Deepening, 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 deepening It's no use some paths we choose and some we choose to embrace Most are just here though, blinking on the inside Checking schedules, clocking in Feeling relevant, following Why should I be, be relevant? This is an orchestra choking in itself It finds purpose in this noise right now feeling is sparked only by extreme significance, startling mundaneness or satirical ingenuity. I am calloused to the happenings that continue occurring in slowly more rigorous ways. I'm certain of this progression, this denerving of epiphanies, this unrailing of shock, this slow gravitational pull into the grime of a gray-colored society. I'm overflowing with revelance while sitting on an empty tank. Persuasion becomes a tool of de-informing, and I'm gagging on the remnants of yesterday. Every so often I'll look back and forward and try to understand this progression, and figure out how my callousness reached such great proportions, and how much further from here it can continue, and at what point, if ever, it became wrong. Surely there must be some kind of moral implication in all this, isn't there? It doesn't add up, though. There are still those times where the most minute details come full-fledged to the front of my inner window, that window where my eye gazes out longingly, searching the horizon for an inkling of significance. These moments allow a softening and opening of my perception, and though they are only a time-to-time occurrence, they do happen, and it causes me turmoil. I don't understand how I can oscillate back and forth suddenly and uncontrollably between feeling and a lack thereof, 
I suppose it doesn't matter, though. All that really matters is the here and now, regardless of what that encompasses. I believe that the truly desensitized are to a great degree made up of two opposites. Those who don't give a shit and contain sociopathic tendencies, and those who are dissatisfied and are forced to continue digging to find purpose. I would like to keep climbing the spiral in the hope that more will be revealed. It's no use. Some paths we choose, and some we choose to embrace. Most we just follow the road despite ourselves. Running circles, feeling people wandering, falling down the spiral now. No telling but embrace it. It's a whirlpool wandering why we're here, following closely, poor.